Hello YouTube, this is my review on the Behringer Xenex 2442 USB mixer. I've been using this mixer for a few months by now and I'm really happy with the overall sound quality of the mixer. It produces way less hiss and noise than for example my 31 band equalizer from DBX, the 231S, which I've been using for a few months by now also. and. Um, it's also, I've compared it to HDMI and coax connections, I've, I've connected to my hi-fi home setup and it's really actually hard to distinguish the hiss coming out of the mixer compared to the hiss coming out of the amplifier when you turn it up, so that is a really good thing about it. Uh, the other thing is that it has a huge bunch of connectors and a great overall connectivity to pretty much anything you can come up with and the USB feature on it works very well. It's, plug, it's mainly plug and play, you just plug it onto your computer and it works straight out of the box. And it has great routing options with the subgroups and the auxiliary returns and sends. A good equalizer, the equalizer is with the first eight channels, uh, you have a um, high channel which is set to 12 kHz, the mid channel which can be altered, and the low channel. And with the rest you have basically a high, a high mid, a low mid and low channel. I'm not gonna be um, telling you all the features on it because you can find those in other videos and you can just look it up, look at the picture on the Behringer website, you probably figure out all the features from that one. But let's just point out that the for example the FX processor on it it's really great, it has a huge bunch of different options and different FX's and the, also the um, FX routing works pretty well. You can route the FX to the subgroups or to the main mix. You can also connect an external FX in the AUX return. Then the bad things about it, well, the USB input can't be routed to a, cha to a channel, so mainly when you have a USB input it goes straight to the main mix. And that is a bummer, because I'd really like to have the possibility to route the USB to the FX processor or use the equalizer on it, and uh, I haven't figured out a way to do that. I don't know if you have, but I haven't. If somebody has, please tell me. And then also the reverb and hall effects on the FX processor aren't the nicest I've heard. They are good, but they're, they're way below those of what well, lexicon or some some other manufacturers can do um yeah overall this is a great mixer you get way more than what you pay for and it's way better than most of the stuff i've been using so far including soundcraft yamaha and other other brands um some of those boards can be way ex more expensive cost over four, three four times the same as this one and I still like this better so that is much that is really that is really a good good achievement from Behringer and yeah as I said it compares to many many way more expensive models from different manufacturers so if you're looking for a mid-size mixer with good connectivity and a lot of a lot of features on it this is what you'll be buying there's there's no doubt of it this is this is the best there is out there right now, at least in my opinion. And uh, don't listen to those people telling you that Behringer, Behringer mixers have a lot of hiss. That's that's bullshit. That's other bullshit because uh, this doesn't. This does not. I don't know if somebody has bought a mixer, say five years ago. Well, they were different, but they were different back then. But they really improved in the quality, in the build quality over the last few years. So a big. Big thumbs up to Behringer on that one. I myself would give it a 9 out of 10. I'd otherwise give it a 10 out of 10, but the mainly, mainly one thing that bugs me is the USB. As I said, the routing options of the USB input, that is, that is a bummer. But it's not a big issue, and most people won't probably be using the USB input anyway. That's it for today, and uh, be sure to check back later on some more reviews on great products. Uh, yeah, see you next time.